Well, I'm here. I made it to Medellin on a very quiet little street here. It's actually uh, it's all called a hotel apartment. So it's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and uh, 130,000 pesos a night. Come and go as I please. Looks good. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Welcome back to the Grand Columbia channel. We're picking up where we left off when Robert explained what it took to uh, get into the country of Colombia. What I've got here is about four days worth of, that was his visit, of uh, various clips uh, around Medellin. So they speak for themselves. They're a little choppy. I apologize ahead of time because they're all vertical instead of movie style. But I think they're worth watching. And so here they are. So I made it to beautiful Medellin. Weather is beautiful. I'm on a nice quiet street here. All looks good. Um, the coronavirus test, they asked me for it at when I got to the immigration desk, not at the customs desk. Um, yeah, I had to, I showed him a paper copy. I also had a copy on my phone just in case. And I had also uploaded the results. I had to upload it to the website, to the immigration check-in website, um, when I registered before coming to Columbia. Yeah, you can only register within 24 hours of actually traveling. So my hotel is actually called an apartment. Let me show you what I get for $34 a night. First, uh, there's like a little living room, seating area with a TV. There's like a kitchenette here. That's the door. There's a kitchenette with a couple of little benches here for eating. A fridge. There is like an area for washing, I guess, clo clothes or whatever. It has two bathrooms. Bathroom number one with a shower. Three bedrooms. That's one bedroom, two bedrooms, and this is like the master bedroom or whatever where I'm staying with air conditioning, nice, and uh, the other bathroom. So all of that, $34. Not fancy, but huge for $34. Up to two people can stay in here for $34. Bucks. Good deal. All right, so I'm in Medellin. I'm uh, eating at a little restaurant here, a little mom and pop restaurant. 10,000 pesos, $2.75 for one of the uh, typical meals here. Oh man, so this is it. It's called the Bandeja Paisa. Avocado, um, smashed fried plantains with sauce. That's another type of plantain. There's rice, eggs, pork rinds, two types of sausages, beans, arepa, and, uh, car and that's um, like Hamburg kind of. Two dollars and sixty cents. Oh God, this is a cholesterol festival. Some of the little streets here. Look at that. Cool. This is my running route, running around the stadium here in Medellin. You can run all the way around. There's a nice path here, and. It's like a huge, huge sports complex here. And I played frisbee here this morning. Metro, Metro is nice and clean. Really cool, nice and clean here. Really cool, decorated really nice the restaurant. Very nice. Get that. Yep, I think it's about time I got my cazuela de frijoles. So I'm coming to get one of my favorite Colombian dishes. 
it's kind of like a bean casserole. And I guess it's in a restaurant up here on the second floor. So I'm gonna check it out. It looks really cool up here and I should have a little view of the street down below. So we'll see how it is up here. Okay, I got my cazuela de frijol. Oh my God, does this look good? Got the arepa, the rice, the avocado, and I guess that's uh, like hot sauce or something. I'm not sure what that is. Man, oh man, yummy. Well, this looks a little different. This is what happened to me, my casuelita de, de frijol. Yum, yum. There's the moon in Medellin, Colombia. And just gonna take some shots of kind of a very green, cool area here with lots of little bars and stuff. A lot of little trees. outdoor cafes, all that kind of stuff. So this is what's called Envigado. It says this is the main square of Envigado. These are made out of all flowers. These designs are made out of all flowers. And they make, uh, they have a contest. And they have like a little parade. And I don't know what these things are called, but whatever they are, they're all made out of, yeah, whatever that is, <laughs> they're made out of flowers. Cool. In uh, Latin America is La Estrada. And on the right side, you have our big mall called Oviedo. Comes yeah. in a second. And then comes Santa Fe, where we've been having lunch before. So there are like two malls just next to each other. This is called the Flower Festival or the Flower Fair, where, as I said, they have a big parade every year of the contest of these flowers. Colombia is known for the quality of its flowers, but because of COVID, they didn't do the parade this year. So what they did is they brought it all out here into the plaza, into the square, and they have judges. <laughs> what else did you guys say was up there? Drugs and... Well, not a prostitute and parqueteras. They're wearing those for hours and hours, and even They're like heavy. grandmas wearing something like that, this size. You gotta be politically correct because exactly. you're the tour you're guide. Swiss. Yeah, and you're Swiss <laughs> and the tour guide. Okay, I'm, I'm videotaping. Who wants to start talking about prostitutes? You uh, just did yeah. it. Oh, wait a minute. These are more working class uh, neighborhoods. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty much working class. Still nice and clean, but it, you got a nice view of the mountains yeah, there. It's quite safe and stuff. So. It's safe, it's just a little more working class. Especially here in the south, as I said, it's a little bit more conservative. American football and soccer field. Yeah, exactly. Rugby. Rugby, Rugby field. That's cool. 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 So we did that and we 
because of him we know other Swiss guys. Okay. But cool. not really a lot, and we're not looking for like no. to meet other. No, Swiss I was just people. curious if you ran into any. Uh, that's yeah. all. But they're not a lot actually. They're more Americans like that we meet than yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. Si, si algo me parqueó acá en este si estaba en libre allí. Pues donde Mercedes. Exacto. Sam, I'm, I'm. Sí, yo creo que más o menos seis y medio siete creería yo que estaría en el día. Tan amables los gringos, sí o no? It's all pedestrian now. The Misty Plaza. Here we are at the Misty Plaza. The famous Misty Plaza. That's the building of the, the utilities company. Utilities company. Yeah. So and everybody loves them, right? No, so here I think they don't really have too bad of an image. Actually. Oh yeah. Especially with her African kind of. Yeah. That's Oh yeah, okay, but that's more for That will go around, I would say, two and a half million, something like that. No, I don't know. Uh, this one, yeah. What's up? We are in a mall here. Really, really nice. Beautiful, big, modern mall. It's called Santa Fe. Here in Medellin.
We've got a place We've got a place Oh, this is so sad. I'm sitting here at the airport waiting for my flight to leave. Don't want to leave Colombia. But anyway, um, something I did not know, the MIG, the immigration website that you have to check in with before you fly to Colombia, you must also fill out that form and, and register online when you leave Colombia, which I did not know. Fortunately, in the Medellin airport, they have free Wi-Fi, and after I checked in at the ticket counter with Spirit, I ended up filling out the form before I got to the um, the DAS, the immigration um, desk. So that's something that people should know as well. Do it ahead of time, save some time, less stress at the airport. I'm here like three hours early.